over here is an extremely cool phenomenon. I've noticed that there are probably a hundred cicada killer wasps just congregating over here. It's extremely ironic to me because I know these are solitary wasps, so I don't know why they're all over here at the same time. Solitary wasps, maybe it's just a breeding ground or something. Maybe they're breeding. But they are all congregating right here. And this morning when I came in, there were a bunch of them, but there weren't this many. And I can literally hear the low pitch buzzing from these. And this is the largest species of wasps that you'll find in New York, I'm pretty sure. So they're huge. And if anyone doesn't know anything about these, they will be nervous to stand here, but these are usually not very aggressive. They won't normally sting you. But you have an amazing opportunity to stand right in the middle of these and watch them all do their thing. So they actually dig these holes inside the uh, sand. Um, and usually one, one wasp will res be responsible for that one hole. But there are hundreds of them over here. Really fascinating. But, like I said, if you get any of these in your lawn, you don't have to worry about them. Just be careful. They would very rarely sting you. They're solitary wasps, which means that they don't uh, normally attack you. They're not like yellow jackets where, you know, it's the female workers uh, protecting a colony. This is, this wasp has its own colony to protect. So it knows that, and it knows that stinging us would probably put it in bigger danger than it's worth. So it may buzz us, it may buzz around our ear, but they don't normally sting us. And they are huge, but really fascinating to watch. So someone walks by. And some of them get agitated, but, you know, they leave us alone. They're not chasing that guy at all. They're not stinging me. It is really fascinating. Some of them buzz by my feet. Some of them buzz by my head. You know what? I think these are mating. One lands and then the other one tends tends to mate. But notice how steady I'm holding the camera. You know, I'm completely relaxed. You're relaxed, no problem. Just don't be stepping on them. Don't be. You know, walk very carefully. You could just listen to the buzzing. It's amazing. This is a very busy pathway. This is at Five Rivers Environmental Education Center in Delmar, New York. And today there's gonna to be a family day event, so I'm hoping that they would do something to just tell people to be calm or at least maybe walk a different route to this and not on the sidewalk. Because many people would end up swatting these things. And when you do that, you know, who knows? But I don't swat on them, so. They are really cool to watch. They are huge. Over an inch long. So I'm gonna walk carefully. These look like some of their holes now, but normally you'd find like a little patch of dirt below their holes. So I don't think these are their holes. I'm not sure, but there are many holes here. 
So cicada killers actually attack cicadas. Two of them are buzzing right by my foot. Like I can literally feel the wind. One of them landed on my boot, but it's not attacking me. It's just checking me out. Scary looking, but they rarely sting. Size reference, mine's a size 11 boot, so. Really cool. Never seen this before. I'm gonna go down and hopefully I can see him better. All of these are solitary species of wasps, cicada killers. While I was filming these, I actually just realized Five Rivers did put a sign up. But I didn't even see it. It's awesome. I'm literally teaching people about cicadas just like I was doing with you. It's amazing. See, that family just walked right through. And it seems like everyone here already knows that they are not harmful, which is this environmental education center does a very, very good job educating the public about these things. How awesome would it be if I actually got one to land on my hand? Let's see if it happens. Oh, guess none of them are in the mood to do that. <laughs> 